Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the following question and the question says, In the following sets, name the subset and the superset if any. First part is, A is equal to the set containing the words Himalayas, Alps and Indies. B is equal to the set containing the word mountains. Second part is, P is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 3, 5, 7 and Q is equal to the set containing natural numbers less than equal to 10. Third part is, empty set phi and P is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Fourth part is, A is equal to set of letters of the word Excel and B is equal to set containing the elements E, C. Fifth part is, X is equal to the set containing the elements 0, 1. Y is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. Before we solve the question, let us first recall what is a superset? If A is a subset of the set B, that is, A is contained in B, or we can say that B contains A, then B is called superset of A. Now this is a key idea for this question and using this key idea we shall solve the question. Let's move on to the solution now. The first part is A is equal to the set containing the words Himalayas, Alps and Indies. B is equal to the set containing the word Mountains. Now we know that Himalayas, Alps and Indies are all names of the mountains. So we can say that here all elements of A are elements of B also. That is the set A is contained in the set B. Therefore a is a subset of B and B is a superset of A. Second part is P is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and Q is equal to the set containing natural numbers less than equal to 10. Now we know that the numbers 1, 3, 5 and 7 are natural numbers less than 10. So, all elements of P are elements of Q also. That is, set P is contained in set Q. Therefore, 
P is a subset of Q and Q is a superset of P. Third part is the empty set phi and P is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. As empty set is a subset of all sets, therefore, Phi is a subset of P and P is a superset of Phi. Now the fourth part is A is equal to set of letters of the word Excel and B is equal to the set containing the elements E, C. So we have A is equal to the set containing the elements E, X, C, L and B is equal to the set containing the elements E and C. Now we can see that the elements E and C are also in the set A. That is Elements of B are elements of A also. Therefore, B is a subset of A and A is a superset of B. Fifth part is X is equal to the set containing the elements 0, 1 and Y is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 as 0 belongs to the set X but 0 does not belong to the set Y. So we can say that all elements of X are not the elements of Y. Therefore, X is not a subset of Y. With this we end our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.